I feel like this is the type of stuff that is not only not getting enough research, but it's not getting enough airtime um, to even make people aware of these either deficiencies or imbalances that they have. And to be able to hear from you knowing the experience that you have and the expertise that you have, I think that's just like such, it feels like getting, um, you know, a, a head start. Um, at this point, even though I felt behind when we started having these conversations, um, I feel like there's so much more that like, I even know to be curious about, you know what I mean? It's like, I wouldn't even know the questions I should be asking about my own body if you weren't explaining some of these things to me. And that's like, I, I encourage, as I'm sure you do, um, being in the field that you're in, like curiosity, experimentation, like, you know, have, have a healthy sense of skepticism and, and look to the science to, to prove the points. So when you don't have people who are as informed, sort of just saying whatever they're going to say, um, with maybe, maybe they feel like they have resources that have given them insight, but they haven't done enough to expand on that. And they're sort of stuck in the mindset of this is what works. We're going to just keep doing this. You just, you don't really understand how prolific that effect is until you sit down and really sort of look at the the broad picture that you've been painting for me over these many conversations that we've had. I feel like my entire world around my own hormonal health has like opened up because of this. So I'm incredibly grateful for that and for the people that have the opportunity to learn from you and, and your business and your work that you do. Thank you. No, I think it's, it's really, like you said, we need to be asking the right questions. We need to be um, skeptical that this status quo or the norm is really shouldn't maybe be the norm. Um, and women have this, they have the um, choice. And so, you know, and I think this vaginal health, like I, I've see, talked to a lot of women that are on, on testosterone only, and they, they feel like they're gaining muscle. They look great, you know, and even if they're on a healthy dose that they kind of feel okay, they're, they, they said they have all kinds of vaginal problems and they, and they, yeah. And so there's like a one area that they're like really wanting to fit and you can't fix it with testosterone. 